What up everyone, I'm Ken Sepulay. Welcome to StackedBMX.com's YouTube channel. Today we're doing an explain and review on the GT Bikes Smoothie 29 inch tire. That's right, as always, I'm gonna tell you if this tire fits on your bike all the way down to what colors it comes in. So let's get to it. If you're not too familiar with GT bikes, shame on you. They've been around for a long time and they're continually making cool stuff for your bike. These are the smoothie tires from them. These bad boys are 29 by 2.5 inches wide. That means that the 29 inch size rim and tire is the diameter of the tire. Then the second number is a 2.5 inches wide. That means this tire is gonna be super, super wide, a lot wider than most stock tires, and it's gonna have a lot more rubber on the ground. Uh, so straight off on this, this tire, what I noticed is that it looks really similar to another popular tire, but the biggest thing I noticed is that the other tire only comes in a 2.1 inch wide tire. This bad boy comes in a 2.5. There's very few tires coming in 2.5. I've seen another tire that comes in 2.5. It has a different style tread, but that tire is significantly heavier. So what's cool about this tire is that it's a lot lighter, but you're getting that girth of a tire. So if you're looking for a fat tire and trying to keep it down, keep the weight down, this tire might be for you. I also noticed that it's got a pretty thin sidewall. Uh, that's probably to do with trying to keep the weight down. So it is relatively like thin, but it's actually thicker than a lot of tires that I've seen. So I wouldn't really stress out about that. It has a wire bead on it. Uh, this tire, you can go up to 65 PSI. Uh, traditionally, guys that are trying to run a bigger, fatter tire, normally they don't run a lot of air so that they can actually get some good traction when they're carving and you know, I mean, doing wheelies and swerving and stuff like that. So this tire worked really well. I noticed it doesn't really have an edge. It does have a slight edge. I don't know if that's gonna like bother you too much, but it looks to me, it's very, very minimal. I think you'll do fine with it. Uh, especially if you ride on it quite a bit, I guarantee that edge will fall right off and you'll be totally fine. Another thing that I noticed is that the, the tire in the center is a lot thicker than the edges. So when you look at the tire, it looks like it's super smooth, but it actually isn't. It has an acid etching in the mold and then creates this little grip right here. And then the center has another smooth tread in the middle. The reason why they do that is so that when you're riding in the center, the tire lasts a lot longer. But if you go into the side or you go into gravel or water or anything like that, this tire will still stick to the ground very very well so having those th two things combined that helps it uh, a lot um, another cool thing just to give you the heads up a little fun fact see these little things right here these are called runners these things are what actually are the veins of the machine that pump in the rubber to fill this tire cavity so they come in here pour it up fill it up but notice how there's tons of them that's because they make those tubes come in here right at the same time, whether they have to make it go a little bit longer to go in here to basically fill that mold up with rubber and make a solid tire. So learn that from an injunction molding company I used to work for. So I noticed that, that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, besides that, if you're looking for a super fat tire that grips really well, that's super light, think about getting the GT smoothie tires and throwing them on your bike and having a lot of fun. Peace out, man.